In December 2014, TubeBuddy officially launched their business after building tools in the YouTube space for over 15 years. Their mission was to help content creators like you easily manage and grow their YouTube channels. Eight years later, TubeBuddy has been installed over 5 million times and is trusted by some of the top content creators, including Daryl Eves, Nick Nimmin, Matt Santoro, and Sarah Beth Yoga. But in 2022, more creators are asking, does TubeBuddy actually work? I've been using TubeBuddy for over four years now, and I can honestly say no. TubeBuddy is not going to help you get more views and more subscribers. Wait, what? Well, I should say TubeBuddy alone won't help you get more views and subscribers. The truth is you need to understand what TubeBuddy is, which is just a tool. And you also need to understand how the YouTube algorithm works because TubeBuddy helps you align your content strategy with that of the algorithm. So one of the biggest mistakes newer YouTubers do when they install TubeBuddy is they make their video first, upload it to YouTube, and then they dive into TubeBuddy to try to optimize their video for search results. But the problem is you've already decided what your topic is gonna to be about. And once you've done that, the keyword explorer just won't work for you anymore. And this is where the algorithm comes in. YouTube's algorithm is not designed to find viewers for your video. It's actually the complete opposite. It's designed to find videos for the viewer because at the end of the day, the YouTube algorithm is looking to get people to the platform and keep them there. And I actually took a deep dive in this video right here explaining how the YouTube algorithm actually works so this way you can get more views and subscribers this year. So because the YouTube algorithm is designed to get videos to the viewer, you as a content creator need to make videos that your viewer is actually searching for. And this is where TubeBuddy comes into play. Okay, so before I show you how to use the Keyword Explorer, what you first need to do and a mistake a lot of people make is a pre-research. You need to research what your audience is actually looking looking for right now. And this is key. If they're having conversations off of YouTube, then they're most likely going to come to YouTube to find the answer. And that's when you make those videos. So this way, when they type in that keyword, your video comes up. All right. So if you don't have TubeBuddy, I actually have a free 30 day trial for you down in the description box below. So make sure to grab that. So this way you can follow along with this tutorial. Once you have it installed, you're gonna to wanna to pull up their Keyword Explorer. If you don't know how to get to that, go to your extension here, drop down to Keyword Explorer, and this will bring up your Keyword Explorer tool. So you wanna research, is the conversation that my audience is having offline, is it actually a good topic for me to make because it's highly searched and it doesn't have a lot of competition. So in order to find that, I'm just gonna type in the overall topic of my video, which would be TubeBuddy. All right, and before I even finish this keyword term, you see that it comes down in this drop down menu. So something that YouTube and Google both have is an auto finish or auto completion tool. And basically what they try to do is guess what you're going to say based off of commonly searched keywords. So this means TubeBuddy is typed into the YouTube search bar a lot, which is a good indicator that yes, this is definitely a topic that is highly searched, which means if I make a video on it, I will most likely get more views. A big mistake that a lot of newer YouTubers make when it comes to TubeBuddy is they look at this overall score here. And the problem with this is it's saying it's poor, which automatically gives you the, I can't make this video because it's saying not to make this video because it's not a hundred. This is technically bad, but do you know why? And if you look down here at the score analysis, it'll tell you the reason why is because it's just really competitive. And you see that right here in the competition where it says poor. So it means that there's a lot of videos in search already that are talking about TubeBuddy. So what you need to do as a creator is see how can I lower the competition? And one way I like to do that is to go to my related search section and I like to find a subtopic to my overall topic. So what is something that I can specifically talk about when it comes to TubeBuddy? So I want to talk about their Keyword Explorer tool. And if you look down here, you see Keyword Research. So I'm going to click on this. And now we see that this score changes to very good. So you have to really think, one, what is the overall topic of my video? And two, how can I position this really specifically so this way it's bite-sized and digestible for my audience and also it lowers the competition? Because if you notice, I went from over a million videos in search results, which we can see right here, and that's the direct competition, to less than 
300,000. I have 237,000 videos now and search results that are talking about TubeBuddy. All right, if you made it this far, then you get to know the bonus of when to make these videos. Just because people are searching for it or it's saying that there's a lot of people searching for this topic and there's not a lot of videos doesn't mean as soon as you upload, you're going to go viral. That's just not how this always happens. But you can get a pretty good indication of when you'll start to pick up more views. And that's done by going over here to this section where it says interest over time. And something I like to do is I like to switch it to 12 months because it'll show me in the last year when the um, peaks were and when people really started to search for this topic. So if we see here, this is where we're currently at. And so it's at its peak right now, but typically after a peak comes a fall and we'll see it falls here around February 14th, which is exactly when I'm recording this video. And it looks like it's gonna be dead until about up here where it's May 30th. So I may not get a ton of views right now, but something else I really like to look at is Google. And that's because Google owns YouTube and I've actually gained most of half of my external traffic comes from Google. So if we see here, yes, on YouTube, it's not really gonna pick up again until like May 30th, but we see a spike right here, which is gonna happen around April 18th. So I'm still gonna have a little bit of dead time. And this right here just means that the views that I get are most likely gonna come from my subscriber base. But if I wanna pick up newer subscribers, I may have a snowball effect that starts to happen in April and then really starts to pick up around May because that's when people come on to YouTube and type in TubeBuddy keyword research. And I know some people are gonna be like, all right, she's just doing this because she wants us to install TubeBuddy because she's an affiliate and she just wants views on her videos, but it actually doesn't work. I'm here to tell you it does because I actually made a video last year and it showed the same type of trend. It showed that when I uploaded the video, there wasn't gonna be a lot of views, but around April, you'll get most of your views, views from Google. And then around May, they'll start to trend on YouTube. And if you see here, I uploaded this video on uh, January 27th and I had just shy of 400 views. And then if you look at April, we'll go to April 18th because that's when it said the trend was gonna pick up on um, Google. We see that I had 2.4 thousand views. And then if we go to the trend on May, right? It said around May 20th, I think it was, I have 3.6 thousand views. And then after that, I now have over 9,000 views on this video. So yes, a video that had 400 views on the very first day has over 9,000 views a year later. And the reason why is because a lot of people are finding it through search like I knew they would. And um, YouTube is also pushing this video out on Browse, which are people's homepage. And again, if you look down here at my external traffic, the number one traffic source is Google. I know this works because I've done it for four years now. And if you think TubeBuddy doesn't work for you, you're just not using it correctly. Now again, YouTube is designed to deliver videos to the viewer, not find viewers for a video. So in order for the YouTube algorithm to deliver your video to the right person, you didn't make sure that you're actually communicating to the algorithm what your video is about and who your video is for. And I go over that in this video right here. Don't forget to grab your free 30 day trial of TubeBuddy down in the description box below and get out there, make some content and let's grow together.